I'm gonna go ahead and use this leftover sugar that I had from um, scraping out my egg, and I'm gonna make the base this is gonna sit on. Now there's many things that I can use for the base. Um, any kind of mold you happen to have, this happens to be a, um, an egg mo uh, mold that's actually made for making the eggs, a base for an egg, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill that. Remember, you can use any chocolate mold you have too. Um, just remember that granulated sugar inside a chocolate mold is going to scratch it. So when I have a mold that I really like that I want to use to make granulated sugar pieces and I want to do chocolate, I'll actually get two molds. One and I'll mark it. One for granulated sugar and one for using with chocolate because the granulated sugar will scratch it. Okay, I'm going to get that packed down really nice and tight. We're going to scrape across the top. And you can bake this or you can just let it air dry. Just pop it over and then lift up. And that's the base I prefer. You can see there's two on here. And see how this one has a little bit of an indent? If you decide you do not want to cut the bottom off of your egg to lay flat, it'll sit in that. Okay. Now we got to talk about the decorations that are go inside our egg. I am not the best figure piper in the world, but I sure know how to get around that. Um, I've had to learn over the years because I'm not very good. Um, they sell already done up little pieces. And as you can see, these are cute little lambs. All sorts of uh, sugar um, cake decorating stores, or you can get these online. Those are cute little lambs. They have flowers that are already done up, which we're going to use today. We're actually going to use these. They even have little eggs. They also have shrink wrapped pieces. I know Cake, Make, um, Cake Mate in your grocery stores has all sorts of little, they have bunnies and, and whatnot, and they have uh, eggs. There's roses. And I have a few others here that I bought. Carrots, you can see those all right, and little chickies. So if you can't figure pipe like me, there are lots of ways to cheat. Okay, the first thing I'm going to try and do is a swan. Oops, that's a little bit big. Well, we'll use it anyway. And what I'm going to do, it could be a, I guess it could be a duck or a swan, but I'm going to make his head as a ball, and then I'm going to come down like that. All right. And then to do his body, I'm going to go ahead and change that to a number 12, and I'm going to pipe a nice big bulb for his body. And it's kind of like a shell. Go back like that. And then we want his wing. So we we'll pipe on there and up. There. You see that all right? Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and pipe his beak. And I've got a number four tip. You can use a number two, but I'm just going to pipe his beak. And then just going to come right down in the lower portion here and just do a very simple little shell. Just squeeze and pull away. Okay, when that dries, you got to let it dry overnight. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and take one of the black food markers. And I'll actually just dot that and make an eye for him. I can't do it now because it's wet, but I can show you one I did earlier where I just dotted. Mm -hmm. 